In this video, I'll do a quick answer video on how to download and install fonts in Subtitle Edit. So there's a user who wanted to know how they can download and install the font Roboto on the internet and use it inside Subtitle Edit. So uh, by default, uh, you may need to add some few fonts depending on what you're looking for. So uh, let's say I just right click on any line here and then click on font name. I can say, let's say I look for Roboto uh, because I already have it. It's right there. If I click on it, you're going to see a preview. And if I say, okay, it's going to change that particular preview font. So you'll also see that the font face is Roboto ADC. Looks really good. And let's assume that what you're looking for. Now, let's press on Control Z. And then we're going to go to a website called dafont.com. And this is the website right here. And I've set the sans serif theme to be what I want. And if you look down here, you can see that we have the font Roboto, this particular one. These fonts are free, uh, but let's say we are looking to go maybe with a different font. Let's say maybe uh, Tommy. I don't think I do have Tommy with me. Just click on download. Once you download, this is going to come in as a zip file. Click on it. Let's say uh, we go to a regular, it's for personal use. Let's double click on this. This is what it looks like. And then click on install. It's called made Tommy. Uh, that is what it looks like. Let's just right click and see if we can see it. We cannot see it. So what we're going to need uh, to do right now is just close up subtitle edit and then open it up again. It's going to open what we had, right click on it font name and then we go to made Tommy. It's available. That is what it looks like. And if you change, that is what it looks like when you add it to your video. Now, it's really simple. And I've actually installed uh, the open type font. That is, if I look at this, uh, regular personal use OTF. So that is what I've used. But simply put, you can go to a site like dafont.com, look for uh, in your example, what you wanted, the Roboto font, download it, install it. And then if you had subtitle edit running, just close it down and bring it back up. Now, probably the use, best use case scenario for your font uh, selection would be maybe in something like Advanced Substation Alpha, uh, where you actually want to have uh, all the defaults. Let's actually remove uh, this. Uh, remove uh, what is it called remove font name remove that uh, and then we say uh, we go for the edits for all and then let's say we want to use Roboto click on that click apply and everything applies in the background the way you want it to be uh, and it looks uh, really good you can also do an opaque box if you'd like that uh, if that is the kind of uh, subtitles that you're looking for. And then if you want to burn your videos, it's going to look uh, the way you want it to be, especially when you use ASSA subtitles uh, or ASS subtitles right inside there. But that's how you can download and install fonts in Subtitle Edit. I hope this tutorial is of value to you. Thanks for asking.